think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. the man. Got a scan? My friend, it appears the Cepho had some interest in Dathomir. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. job. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. Pass the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Don't! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of Patoli weed fabric? Not really. Oh. I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. <sighs> the next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. That little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. 
With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it. Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir is Zepho. It's your choice. Let's plot a course. This whole journey has put a lot of wear and tear on the Manus. Like it was perfect before? It was a masterpiece, but now, ugh, just don't be surprised if I send you a bill. Someone's low on funds. I mean, sure, okay, that may be part of it, but I'm used to it. Were you rich growing up? Wealth isn't really a priority for Jedi. Yeah, well, I was poor too, but it wasn't so bad. My crew and I would find things to do for cheap. That's where I learned how to play Subhawk. A game which requires credits. Strange choice. Well, we were kids. We bet all kinds of dumb things. Unfortunately, things changed when we got older. Funny-shaped rocks didn't go so far anymore. The galaxy would be a better place if they did. All right, kids, sit down. We're here. Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. <laughs> oh. Couple bubs ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Bagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck.
what you find? Oh, all right then. What's that mean, one? not budging. Watch out, BD. You don't look friendly. Cal, can you hear me? This is the Empire. They found Zeppo. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into there. Check it out. for the help.
Where are you taking us? The Empire has forced the villagers from their homes. Frightened refugees, shipped off to work camps, or worse. Looks like a problem.
Can't push it. 